D16's Frontier is an incredibly versatile limiter plugin that's yours for free with Computer Music Issue 230. Available as a VST and AAX plugin for PC and VST, AU and AAX for Mac, Frontier is the latest addition to D16's excellent Silverline range of effects plugins. The simple control set relies a wide range of creative and practical applications. It's great for everything from bringing dance mixes up to commercial loudness levels, to smoothly leveling real instruments like guitars and vocals, to adding classic crunch, grit, harmonic saturation, and drive wherever it's needed in the mix. We're sure it's going to quickly find a place in your studio shortlist of essential tools. So let's take a quick look at its features now. At the very bottom of the interface, click where it says Normal, Normal, to edit the real-time and offline quality options, ranging from Draft, which is the most efficient CPU usage, to Ultra, which is the best quality but the highest CPU load. We choose Ultra for both, as Frontier is quite CPU light. Note that these settings only affect the current instance of Frontier. If you'd like to set default quality settings for all new instances of Frontier, click the Options button and open the Processing Quality section. Now, load the file FrontierDemo1.wav in a fresh door project at 122 BPM. The main control is Threshold. It defaults to minus 12 dB, meaning that any signal level exceeding that point is limited. Gain is then applied automatically behind the scenes. So for each 1 dB you reduce the threshold value, 1 dB of makeup gain is added to the signal level. Raise the threshold to zero now, and you can hear our drum loop appears unprocessed. Then pull it right down to see how the signal gets louder and eventually distorts as it gets squashed. The real-time gain reduction meter displays any gain reduction being applied. Naturally, it's visibly triggered by loud peaks such as kick drums. When using Frontier for creative distortion, you can largely ignore the meter, but when you're using it to add level to buses and masters, you should keep an eye on it. You know a level of about minus 6 dB is safe, and you know that anything in the red is heavily colouring your sound. The next important control is Release. It has three settings, Fast, Medium and Slow, and these dictate how swiftly the gain reduction is reduced after the signal drops back below the threshold. When set to Fast, the overall level is higher, with distortion creeping in. At slow, the loop is cleaner and pumps with the kick. The large knob to the right is output, and it has a number of useful functions. When using Frontier as a master output limiter, it can be set just below 0 dB to ensure the master output signal is compatible with CDs and converts nicely to MP3. Because Pro Mastering Studios recommend a peak signal of around minus 0.5 to minus 0.3 dB for optimum MP3 conversion. Output can also be used to add distortion when used in conjunction with the soft clip option. This engages an algorithm to clip the signal when it reaches around 0 dB. 
Engage soft clip. Raise the output gradually to 12 dB. And notice how the sound acquires a harmonically rich distorted tone. And note that even with soft clipping engaged, the plugin's output can reach as high as plus 3 dB when the levels are really pushed, so you may need to reduce the channel level to compensate. Disable soft clip now, and notice how the signal instantly leaps up and over our channel 0 dB point. Control input sets whether Frontier uses a left, right, or mid, which is a mono channel, when detecting threshold crossing. And note that whichever you use, the limiter will still be acting on the full stereo signal. This setting can be used creatively or functionally. Load Frontier Demo 2.web. And this has the kick panned hard left. Now set the control input to right and hear how the limiter's threshold detector ignores the kick altogether. All of Frontier's controls can be mapped to MIDI CC for use with hardware. Right-click any parameter to open the menu. A Mac users with no right-click can use Shift plus click. Now click Learn and then move your desired MIDI controller to assign controls. And once you've set up a few of them, you can then save or load complete sets of MIDI controllers from the menu in the bottom right of the plugin. So that's D16 Group's amazing Frontier. Yours for free with Computer Music Magazine issue 230. And if Frontier has got you pumped for D16's plugins, don't miss the next issue of Computer Music Magazine, CM231, where we'll have an in-depth tutorial dedicated to getting the most from D16's Silverline effects. We'll also reveal the details of an amazing special offer that could net you another free D16 plugin. And if you can't wait for all that, Head straight to D16's website to check out the rest of D16's highly acclaimed processing plugins, such as the excellent Flanger, Antresol, acclaimed Decimort 2, Bitcrusher, and the multiband distortion plugin, Devesta 2. Not to mention their stunning virtual recreations of Roland classics, such as the 808 clone Nefoton, Virtual 303, Fortune, and the SH101 improving Lush 101.